You're listening to Pet World Radio, and this is the Addictive Reef Keeping with Tyler Johnson. Stay tuned for live chats, expert guests, tips and tricks, product reviews, and many more topics. Well, guys, Tyler Johnson here for an overdue update on the 40-gallon breeder. Um, as you guys can see, there's some definitely some big changes to the system. As you can see, I have done away with the old sump that I had up there. Remember, guys, this was just a prototype. It was uh, just something that uh, I pieced together to kind of see how the whole system would work. And eventually, guys, I could not get it to seal anymore. Um, believe it or not, guys, I took this apart about four times, you know, under the union in the back and worked on the sump before this, trying to get that leak to stop because I just wasn't ready to build something. So, unfortunately, I had this 20-gallon long chilling in my garage. I basically buzzed a hole in it real quick, glued in some panels without even really measuring anything, and uh, built a new sump. And the coolest thing about this sump, guys, is it acts as a surge device on my 40 breeder. So as you guys can see, it's just about ready to go off right now. Basically, I'll, I'll bring a ladder up here and I'll show you guys how this all operates, but that's my algae scrubber and that's uh, how the water gets down into the tank down below and basically surges in the back of the tank. So. I'll get in more deep in depth with that in a few moments, but other than that, guys, my tank has been through hell for the last two weeks. Unfortunately, um, after that drip happened, I was out of town working, so there wasn't much I could do. I, you know, I tried to explain the best things for you know the whole tank to you know survive and everything to my wife and I just wasn't able to get that done. So, unfortunately, coming back, I came to a tank that had been overdosed in calc twice, and I came back to a tank that was only running on this WP25 here, um, no protein skimmer for almost two weeks. It was just a nightmare. Um, I'm missing two fish over all this, so not sure what happened to them. So my tank has been, it's been hurting. So I'm glad to get this hooked back up. As soon as I got this hooked up, guys, my tank just turned around within hours. Everything looked great. And I back to my polyp extension and whatnot. Everything just was looking great. So super pumped on that. Frag rack's doing good. Um, as you guys remember, I moved everything up so my yellow-headed sleeper goby would not mess it up. And as you guys can see, there's no sand on anything. He hasn't came above this level since I put this in, so super pumped on that. Um, as you guys can see, all of the hair algae is completely gone except for this backside right here, and that's it. So. Super pumped on those turbo snails. They did a great job. Um, I'm hoping that this will slow down because as you guys can see, I changed the outlet to the surge device. It used to basically blow out of this end and then straight out of here and it would just fill this whole rock with air bubbles and grow you know, a decent amount of algae right there. But I've since now vented that to the top and just a little bit comes out of there. And quite a bit comes out of here and creates this, you know, big wave right here, which is kind of cool. Other than that, tank's doing really good. I could uh, talk about it more, but the basis of this video is what's operating my reef down below and uh, my thought process behind it. So I'm going to jump up there and I'll show you guys how it all works. All right, guys. So here's the top sump. Um, it's just kind of... My own design, I, you know, I came up with a way to utilize an algae scrubber in line with a surge device and have my sump above my, my fish tank because I don't have any room down below. So I really like how this turned out. 
I wanted to do it a little bit differently. Of course, I wanted to use the 40 here instead. That way, I could have had a display refugium. But uh, since I had a leak and I wasn't ready to take care of it, I just used what I had. Um, other than that, guys, basic construction. I just got some acrylic at Lowe's for about 20 bucks. I think I got 10 by or 12 by 24 or something like that. And I just siliconed it in. I, I didn't even. Uh, measure anything. I just eyeballed everything and uh, it all worked out. But I'm pretty excited about this algae scrubber right here. I think I got a way better design than the last the last one. There's no mechanical failure here. Basically the water just runs over the, uh, the weir that I have cut out here as you guys can see and uh, it's wedged in there with that piece of pipe. So pretty simple. I would expect that I would start seeing some algae probably in the next couple days. I uh, seeded it a little bit, but you know, unfortunately, I left the old algae scrubber outside for a few days. So um, that's pretty much it. I got plenty of room in there for my ASM G1. Um, I, there was already a hole in there, so I was just running this, so it's giving a little bit, you know, better outside air than getting the air that's trapped in the tank and uh, that's about it you, so you guys can see the water coming in not very fast I could turn it up if I want but you know tank this size you don't need that much so we'll go ahead and show you guys it uh, operating basically the uh, water after coming down this chute right here, has to travel under this weir, which eventually I'll put some egg crate in here, guys. And what what that'll do is that'll stop any debris going down into the uh, toilet flapper there. And I'll also you know line that with the uh, fabric canvas right here. And then eventually I can fill this this uh, lower chamber up with a uh, bearded dragon or something like that. And I think that red will look really good in the tank. But as you guys can see, the water draining off of the uh, screen right there, that allows the algae to get some air. And uh, this is a perfect design, guys. Way better than the one that I had before. So super pumped on that. Stay tuned for updates on that. And stay tuned for um, close-ups on the 40 breeder. I'll be making another video where I uh, basically zoom in throughout my tank on certain corals and uh, put a little bit of music to it. That way you guys can kind of see the difference from uh, last month's uh, video and kind of compare my growth and everything like that. And it's a good way for me to document my coral growth as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video on how my 40 breeder operates with a sump on top. Um, if you guys have any questions, post down below. Um, if you guys go on Facebook, check us out on Addictive Reef Keeping. I just started a radio show that's based off of Addictive Reef Keeping group off of Facebook. And I basically have been interviewing our, you know, normal people that we have in our hobby. You know, whether that's a professional or an expert or a marine biologist or, you know, whatnot. I got a few shows out right now. Stay tuned for my new one. And, uh... Happy reefing.